Using the Sigma Check menu system to configure the basic operation. As you can see, we are currently on the home screen. The probe ID is shown, the current frequency of the instrument, and when the annual calibration is due. When using the Sigma Check, every probe is characterised, and it's very important to have the correct probe shown. I'll take this one down for a second. As you can see, the probe ID here, 500113-05, is selected. The current desired frequency, 60 kHz, is selected. Now to change these values, if we use the right key, expand the Sigma Check menu, you can see we have calibration, frequency and probe as options, as well as two sub-menus which we'll come to later. So going back to what we saw on the home screen, we have the probe. So selecting the probe, here you can see the currently selected probe. You have the ID number and then all the available frequencies for that particular probe, followed by any notes that may have been stored. From the, there may be several files for several probes on each instrument. We can scroll through any available probes. On this instrument, there isn't any, using the left or right keys. Once the correct probe is shown, push the tick, return to the main menu. Frequency. If we enter the frequency menu, the available frequencies that you saw before for that probe are all shown. And we can select the frequency we would like to use for our instrument by highlighting the one and pushing the tick. We can confirm that by using the back button. Now we can see that the frequency is set to 240 kilohertz. Back to the Sigma Check menu. The remaining menu item, calibration, if we enter that. The first menu item, calibrate, is covered in another video and is used to start the calibration routine of the instrument. The other two menu items, CB1 value, CB2 value. These values correspond to the values shown on the calibration block attached to the instrument and the numbers should be identical. If changing calibration block or using different blocks, the number here can be modified. If we uh, modify calibration block 1, if I push the right arrow, you can now see the two digit is highlighted. Left and right will change the highlighted digit, as you can see there. Up and down will change the single digit, like so. Once the correct value is stored, tick will save the value. If we go on to calibration block 2, as you can see this one only has one digit before the decimal point. Oh, excuse me, back to calibration. Okay. Back to calibration block 2, right to modify. To increase the number of digits before the decimal point, simply push left and the new digit is added. And push right, and if the digit is 0, it will disappear. So for example, you could select 102 back to 2.6 and tick to accept, tick to accept the menu. Now we're back to the main menu.